Roger Federer crashed out of the U.S. Open at the hands of Grigor Dimitrov and this statistic suggests an underlying reason that may have led to his surprise defeat. Bulgarian Dimitrov came out on top 3-6, 6-4, 3-6, 6-4. 6-2 at Flushing Meadows to even a seven-game losing streak against Federer, and that puts former world number three Dimitrov into just third-ever Grand Slam semi-final and his first in the United States. But fresh statistics have shown that Federer, who was hampered by a back injury throughout and required a medical timeout in the fifth set, may have been feeling the effects of the extraordinary amount of traveling he has done this year. Tennis around the world have crunched the numbers to show just how far tennis players have to travel to compete in ATP and WTA tournaments. The interactive website offers tennis fans an opportunity to see the global appeal of the sport, with tournaments dotted across the globe but also just how far apart some events are spread. The tool also offers the chance to look at the tour's most prestigious events, offering detail into the histories of individual tournaments and key records, the city in which they are hosted, the dates they take place, the surfaces they are played on and a list of past winners. Tennis around the world's research has shown that in 2019, the trio of Federer, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal have flown over 100,000 kilometers combined. Djokovic has racked up 35,413 kilometers in the air and traveling from tournament to tournament, not including flights home. Rafael Nadal, meanwhile, has clocked up a slightly lesser 34,131 kilometers jetting across the world. The Spaniard has played in 47 matches, with his 48th coming against Argentina's Diego Schwartzman in the U.S. Open quarterfinals tonight, while Djokovic has played 45 times, and Federer has managed a massive 10,000 more air miles than the pair of his big three rivals. The 38-year-old has flown 46,615 kilometers over the course of this year, despite only playing 45 matches as many as Djokovic, that may account for world number three Federer's fitness problems, given the huge toll such traveling will have taken on his body. As a result of his travels this year the Swiss icon has racked up three titles, as has Nadal, while Djokovic boasts four triumphs two Grand Slams and two ATP events. Djokovic has taken £7.5 million in prize money this year, with Nadal at £6.6 million, which will rise if he wins the US Open, and Federer on a lower £4.7 million haul. Like Federer, Djokovic was eliminated earlier than expected having had to retire from his fourth-round showdown with Stan Wawrinka due to a shoulder problem that had bothered him earlier in the tournament. The Serbian has won five of the last six Grand Slams and was the favorite to come out on top in New York. Speaking after his loss to Dimitrov, Federer appeared to acknowledge Djokovic's exit made a record-extending 21st Grand Slam title far more likely for him. He said, I feel low. I'm disappointed it is over because I feel as I though I was playing well. It is a missed opportunity. I thought if I could get through I'd have two days off after. Let's block hats. Why? 